So what do you think I'm getting ready to do? You already know what it is. You already read the title just now, right? Or you wouldn't have clicked on my video, right? HDMI, video capture. I'm gonna show you how to plug it into your little Sony camera and then use OBS too and set that up so you can live stream. What do you think about that? Ready for this? Let's go. I just got this HDMI video capture card and you know something? It really captured my attention. You wanna know why? Cause it only cost me $20. And that Elgato capture card that I was looking at online cost $200, uh uh. Aren't we in an economic crisis right now? Let's move. So the reason why I'm showing you this card is because this is one of the items that you're gonna need to live stream. Now, it works on macro PC, plugs in USB, connects to your HDMI cable so you can see the video on OBS for free. How's that? Now, the next item on the list is your micro HDMI cable to HDMI. Now, you'll need to purchase this. I'll have a link in my description so you can go get it. Now, just remember you need a long enough cable, right? Do you remember the saying that short cables have no reason to live? Now, the next item, your camera. You're gonna need a camera with an HDMI port, either micro or standard will do. And remember, these things only fit one way, so if it doesn't fit, don't force it, got that? And the other end just plugs into your HDMI video capture card. Now, macro PC, usually you just plug it in and it's gonna work. You won't need any additional drivers for this, I don't think. Now, the OBS Studio is available for free, as I mentioned, online and if you have any trouble finding that thing just click the link in my description that'll do it so now that you know you have everything you need let's go ahead and set up your camera for the best video settings that are going to be outputted to your hdmi video capture card now i'm using a sony rx 100 mark 3 but you can use any sony camera the menu systems will be similar so you can follow along in the video exactly how to set it up okay also, it's important to keep in mind that what you want is a clean HDMI output from that camera. Clean meaning that there are no display information such as ISO, aperture, shutter speed. You don't see the information on your screen. It's just a clean output that's coming out of the camera into your video capture card so that way it can be inputted into your OBS software as a clean HDMI video. All right? Okay, so now let's go to your camera settings and set everything up correctly. Go to the top toolbox and click on HDMI settings. From there, you want to go to HDMI info display. Now you see mine is on and you wanna make sure that yours is turned off so that way you don't have any information outputting with your video. And directly under that, you'll see USB connection. Now you see mine is set to auto. What you wanna do is make sure that this is set to MPT. Now MPT is a protocol that establishes a connection between your camera and a USB device or your computer via USB. The next thing you wanna do is to go and set up your file format. Now you see mine is set to AVCHD. Now I wanna change that to XAVCS. Now this XAVCS means that I will have a higher bit ratio of 50 megabits per second for better quality and better audio. Now, another setting that needs to be established is your focus mode. Now, currently mine is set to single shot AF. What I want to do is change that to continuous AF or AFC. You see that? This means that the camera will constantly maintain focus or change focus while you're moving. Now, just below that, you'll see focus area is set to center. Now, you don't want to do that. You want to have your focus area set to a wide area so that way when you're moving around it will track you from side to side corner to corner or if you're still standing in the center okay let's move to ISO now normally I have my ISO at 100 but I'm going to set my ISO this time for auto the reason I'm doing this is because I want the ISO to change whenever it is that my lighting situation change if I'm doing a live streaming so therefore I won't have to re-record the whole thing all over again you got that now the next setting is for your white balance now this is in order for you to maintain a color accuracy when you're recording you see if an apple looks orange then it's not going to be believable is it so you would go to your white balance to adjust the settings to match the color that you have within your background, your room, or your particular environment, wherever it is that you're doing your recording. Now, the last adjustment to my camera settings will be my record settings. Now, you notice I'm at 24p, 50 megs per second. Now, that's because my XVACS was already previously set. 
Now what I want to do usually is set mine to 30 frames per second and then I can set my shutter speed to 1 over 60. You guys already know that the shutter speed is double the frame rate, right? And the last thing I need to do is to set my camera into manual mode. Now the reason for this is so that way my settings will remain consistent as I'm doing my streaming or my recording. And the last thing I need to do is just to make sure that my HDMI cable is seated correctly and that I'm getting a clean HDMI output as well as the optimal video according to the camera settings that I just set up. Now if you haven't already installed OBS you can go to the link in my description click on the link and you'll be able to install the software. It's very easy to set up all you have to do once you install it is to drag the application into your applications folder and you will see that it will install itself very quickly. Now my recommendation is that you unplug your USB audio device and also the HDMI video capture card from the computer prior to the installation of OBS and from here I'm able to make adjustments to my input output devices and see the results from there. Now you see this is a previous screen capture of OBS before I actually had my USB audio device and my USB video capture device connected to my computer. Now you notice there's no audio levels, there's no display on the screen, right? No video, nothing. It's kind of like a ghost town, just like Las Vegas. But anyway, once you have your audio and your video connected to your computer and then you open OBS, you will see active audio levels appearing on your OBS interface. Now, notice that you don't see any video, right? And that's because I haven't set up any sources yet. I haven't assigned them to OBS. Although my camera is plugged in to HDMI or whether it's turned on or off, I do not see any video and that's because I have to select a source. Now, the way that you do this is you go to your source pane on the interface at the very bottom there and you will see a plus or minus, okay? Don't click on that cogwheel, it won't do anything for you. Go to the plus or minus and click on the plus to add a source. Now a menu will appear where you'll be able to add a video source or add an audio input source. And in this situation, I can't see any video on my screen, right? So I have to add a video input capture device. And that's going to be the USB HDMI video capture card that I showed you earlier. And once you've created a new name for your device, don't forget click that box that says make source visible and then click OK. Once you do that the property windows will appear for you to select the source that's connected to your computer right now. In this case it's my USB video, right? If I click that immediately after I do that you will see your video on the screen and then you'll have the option of being able to approve it by clicking OK and that's what I just did. And notice that the image that you see on the screen has a red border around it which allows me to resize, stretch, or move the image around sort of like a picture in picture, right? And you can place it any way you want as you're streaming so that way you'll be able to see the other person and they'll also be able to see you on their screen. Now isn't that pretty cool? I'm going to start doing that on some of my tutorials now. What do you think about that? That. <laughs> and guess what? The music just came back in. You know what that means? That means I can start having fun. Stop being so serious, okay? Well, I had to show you all that stuff before. You would never have got it. But now I can just kind of run through and have a great time at telling you how awesome this interface is when you are streaming. And if you look over to the right side of the screen, very bottom, you see how I can start my streaming right there? Or I can start my recording there also of my desktop. And then just below that, you see where I can stop the recording or at the very bottom. I can exit OBS. What? Who would want to do that, right? Uh-uh. I want to stay in this thing as long as I possibly can. Having too much fun. And you notice how I resize that window and I'm just kind of bobbing to the music? Huh? Pretty cool, right? But all kidding aside, you know, there are a lot of options here where you'll be able to change your audio sample rate from 44.1 to 48 kilohertz. You have intuitive audio mixing and monitoring with up to six tracks. There's multiple video sources that can be assigned. And also you can have multiple desktop themes to customize your look, if you know what I mean. Hey, did I just say I'm going to have another tutorial for you guys soon? All right, you guys, thank you so much for letting me do this to you again. You know something? Every single thing in life that's difficult is always easy when you're having fun, right? That's why I do these videos, so you can have fun, because you guys make it fun for me too, by leaving those comments, liking, subscribing, okay? That's what it's all about. We all live and we learn every day, right? But you know something? Video capture card, HDMI, right? Sony cameras, OBS, Kenobi, right? <laughs> that's what we do, baby. And you guys got any questions, you know, feel free to send me a comment. You know I'm going to get back to you, right? Okay? So what do we always say? We live every day. We laugh beyond words, right? Where's my rag at? Here it is. And learn. Keep dancing, baby. Keep dancing. Peace. See you on the next one.